Fullerene Balogun is currently one of the hottest strikers in the world. The American-born Englishman has performed extremely well this past season for Stade de Rome in Ligue 1, and he's also been one of the biggest surprises in European football. And although he was a highly rated prospect coming out of Arsenal's academy, things weren't initially looking good for him as he wasn't getting consistent game time. Also, his lone move at Middlesbrough didn't really go that well. Despite this, he turned it around in the 22-23 season, and now Balogun has become one of USA's best players right now. So, how did Fullerene Balogun essentially come out of nowhere to become one of the hottest strikers currently. Well, let's take a look at the rise of Fullerene Balogun. Balogun was born on July 3rd, 2001 in New York City. His family was on a trip to visit cousins and when Balogun's mom was there, he was born. Now, Balogun stayed in New York until he was around two years old before moving to London. Balogun then fell in love with the beautiful game and started playing for a club called Aldersbrook and he originally started playing for them as a center back before becoming a winger. Then, when he was 10 years old, he was warming up for an intense final with his club. Before the game though, Balogun noticed some random middle-aged man talking to his father. But at that moment, Balo just thought it was a random dude asking where the restroom was. Then in the final, Balogun scored the only goal to win the tournament for Aldersbrook and after the game when he talked to his father, he asked who that was earlier. His dad revealed that it was an Arsenal scout that wanted Balo to trial for them for around 5-6 to six weeks. Then while Balo was trialing with Arsenal, Tottenham also called him and wanted Balo to trial with them as well. So Balogun used to practice with both teams. But after 6 weeks, Arsenal extended an offer first to Balogun and he accepted. Now initially, Balogun's time at the youth academy wasn't good because he thought he was going to get cut from the team. However, he started to ball out when he transitioned from being a winger to a striker and he's not looked back ever since. He literally could not stop scoring in the youth Premier League. In the under 18 Premier League, he got 9 goals and 3 assists in 14 games in his first season and then got 25 goals and 4 assists in 19 games in his second season. He dominated the under 18 Premier League and was clearly too good for it. So that's when he finally got the chance to play for Arsenal in Premier League 2 where yet again he performed very well. He got 10 goals and 4 assists in 15 games in his first season playing at that level and then got 9 goals and 3 assists in 18 games in his second season. He also played a significant role in helping the Arsenal youth side to win the Liam Brady Cup, helping beat Bayern Munich, Man United and also Juventus on the way. Now obviously these impressive performances caught the eye of head coach Mikel Arteta and Fulham Balogun was given the opportunity to play in the Europa League for the first time. He made his senior debut as a substitute against Dundalk and then a month later he scored his first senior goal for Arsenal in the Europa League group stage match against Molde. Then towards the end of the season and after previous contract disagreements, Balogun finally signed a new long-term contract with Arsenal and he was set to be a part of their plans in the future. In fact, in the Premier League for the following season, he was given the start in Arsenal's first Premier League game against newly promoted side Brentford. However, Balogun didn't do much at all in this game and Arsenal proceeded to lose 2-0. Sadly, despite signing a long-term contract, Balogun went back down to the Arsenal U teams and wasn't really involved in Arteta's plans. And then in the North London derby, Fulham didn't even make the squad. But that's when Thierry Henry saw him and gave him a few words of advice, saying he has to prove himself if he wants to play for Arsenal. So that's when Balogun decided that he wanted a loan move to play professional football and in January he signed to Middlesbrough in the championship. Now for Middlesbrough, Balogun finally started to get consistent minutes in professional football. However, playing in the championship seemed a little too difficult for Balogun at that time because in the 18 games he played for the club, he only managed to get 3 goals and 3 assists. Now obviously these stats aren't horrendous, but they're not good at all for someone who's supposed to be one of the elite strikers in the future. Arsenal seemed to think the same as well because instead of keeping Balogun for the following season, they opted to stick with Eddie and Ketia and new signing Gabriel Jesus instead, and they also loaned Balogun out to Stade de Rem. Usually, English players tend to stay in England to develop their career, but Fullerene thought that the only way he was going to make it is to play in the league abroad and have a brand new start. And in hindsight, Balogun made the right decision. Balogun quite literally came out of nowhere in League 1 and started to dominate off the bat. Real quick though, before we talk about Balogun's season, please remember to subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it and it means a lot, so thank you. Back to topic, in Balogun's debut season against Marseille, say, despite losing 4-1, Balogun scored his first goal in top 5 football. Then Balogun continued to score goals here and there, and in January, he scored a dramatic late goal in stoppage time to seal a 1-1 draw away to eventual league winners PSG. That was his 11th goal of the season at the time, the most of any player aged 21 or under in Europe's top 5 leagues. Then, 3 days later, Balogun scored his first senior hat-trick in a 4-2 win over Lorient, getting his total to 14 goals in the season at the time, which also made him the top scorer in league one back then. Now, that did not last, because Mbappe, Jonathan David, and Lacazette finished strong, but Balogun became the fourth top scorer in the league after bagging 21 goals in the French top division, helping Rem finish mid-table in the league. Also, with Balogun getting 21 goals, he actually became the first American to score 20 plus goals in a top European league. Bro is already making history at his young age. Oh, and speaking about Balogun being American, let's go over his international career. Balogun started to get noticed by the England and USA senior teams this season, since Balogun was starting to take off in his football career. Now, Balogun has represented England several times in several age levels, and it seemed like he was going to 
to represent them in the future for the senior team, even though he had represented USA once before in the under 18 level. However, in the March international window of this year, everything changed. Balogun was set to represent England's under 21 team as they were getting ready for the Euros, and he was called up to their squad. However, Balogun pulled out because of an injury. People started to speculate that Balogun felt like he was ready for the senior team of England and didn't want to play for the youth national team. Southgate noticed this, but said that Balogun has improved himself in the Premier League, so he wasn't going to get picked for the senior England national team. Balogun took this to heart, and on his Instagram story, he posted, in life, go where you're appreciated, be easy. He forgot the apostrophe in your, but it's all good. Anyways, right after this, Balogun posted another picture on Instagram, but after quick detective skills from USMNT Twitter, they realized that Balogun was in Orlando. Now who cares? Why does it matter that Balogun was in Florida? Well, that's because that's where the USMNT were training for their Nation League games, meaning it was too good for it to be true that Balogun was there out of just pure coincidence. Then US Soccer started to go crazy in the recruiting, getting him courtside tickets to an Orlando Magic game, and even got him tickets to the New York Yankees game. The American players started to try and convince Balogun to make the switch as well, with Musa, Matt Turner, Christian Pulisic, and Weston McKenney taking him out to dinner. Since the USA fans, like me, and US soccer players and staff did a lot to make Balogun feel appreciated, he decided that it would be best to represent the United States instead of England. So that's when on May 16th, Balogun filed his one-time switch and committed himself to the USMNT. Thank goodness he's repping us now because he's the real deal. Anyways, why am I talking about Balogun switching to the US? Well, that's because for the CONCACAF Nations League, Balogun was obviously selected to be on the roster. Not only that, Balogun was immediately thrown into the starting 11 in a super intense semi-final against rivals Mexico. Balogun didn't score in the match, but he did play pretty well as a striker. He also got fouled by a dirty Mexico player, and this led to an insane fight, with McKenney and Cesar Montes getting sent off. Yeah, this game also had four red cards in total as well, and had a ton of fights. What a first game for Balogun for the Stars and Stripes. Anyways, with Balogun performing pretty well, he got the nod of Pepe to start in the Nations League final against Canada as well, and with an amazing pass from Gio Reyna, Balogun managed to score his first goal for the United States, being the second American player to score their first goal for their country in a final. Chris Richards literally was the first American player to do that around 20 minutes before, which is kind of crazy. But yeah, Balogun played a significant part in USA lifting back-to-back -back Nations League trophies, which also means that Balogun's first trophy as a professional player is for his country. Bro really switched to the United States and immediately has more trophies than Harry Kane. That's crazy. Overall, following Balogun did come out of nowhere in the 22-23 season for Stade Rim and started to show why he was rated as a highly rated prospect from Arsenal's academy. Now, whether he's going to stay or not at Arsenal is yet to be determined by the time I'm filming this, but if he doesn't, there are a ton of top clubs interested in signing him, like AC Milan, RB Leipzig, and Newcastle, just to name a few. So no matter where Balogun goes, I'm sure he's going to kill it, because from what I can see so far from Balogun's game, he's going to be an elite striker for years to come. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And if you want to learn more about another elite football talent, Xavi Simmons, definitely check out this video right here. You won't regret it. Yo, yo! Oh, yeah! You made eye contact with me in your backswing, bro. <laughs> <laughs>